Why do people betray each other? If you can't trust anyone... <laughs> then everyone should die. That seems a little extreme. Ooh, it's black this time. Ambidex? Whoa, there's 3D stuff. So what's it gonna be? Will you choose to ally, or to betray? Well, that was quite a trailer. I feel like I saw so many spoilers, but I don't know what any of it means, so... Oh well, I guess. Hey, my name is Welland. Welcome to Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. If you know nothing about the Zero Escape series, you might want to go back to 999 first, because this is the second game in the trilogy. Uh, so yeah, welcome back. Last time we finished off 999 after many long hours, and today we're back with the second game in the series here. Other than the fact that this is probably going to be about people being trapped inside a nornery game again, I really don't know what this is about because on the Steam store description, it says nothing about this game, which I think is uh, the perfect time for us to just begin. We'll be playing with the Japanese voice acting today decided to just stick with what I chose the first time around for 999. If I could give two versions with different audio, I would, but I can't, so can't make everybody happy here. So, let us find out what Virtue's last reward is about. <laughs> this better be a work of fiction. <laughs> Christmas Day, 2028. On a rainy day. Somebody named Sigma. <clears throat> ah. Ow. Ow, 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 ow! Damn it. Feels like my head's gonna explode. Wait. Where the hell am I? Not on a ship, it looks like. Looks like an elevator, but... Oh? Huh! Who the hell are you? Um, hello? Right, okay. Let's try a different tack here. Where the hell are we? Also, while we're at it, why? No response? You always this friendly, or did I kick you while I was sleeping? We are stuck in an elevator, in the middle of who knows where, with some random girl who we don't know and won't talk to us. Great! On the bright side, there is no water rushing in here yet, so I would consider that a positive. Damn. No luck there either, huh? What? Oh, seems like in the Japanese version, we called this girl a brat, a kid. So she's like, I'm not a brat. Hey, looks like you can talk after all. So, let's try this again. Where are we? 
She don't. <laughs> well, she's Kurt. And she's 3D. Well, could be worse, I guess. You could have said, actually, we're stuck in a booby-trapped elevator in the bowels of a top-secret government facility where they conduct grotesque human experiments. <laughs> right. Back to the first question, then. She doesn't like jokes. Who are you? By which I mean, what's your name? Oh. She doesn't want to tell me. Sigma. What? I thought I was Sigma. Aren't I Sigma? What's going on here? Cute. That's my name. I'm asking you what... Wait a second. How do you know my name? I haven't met you before, have I? But what? How could you know my name if you don't have any idea who I am? Do you have like a name tag? Oh, okay, you just know because you know? Alright! Hey... No need to bite my head off. Does the protagonist not have a voice? Am I gonna have to voice him for the rest of my life? It's just, you're not really making sense here. And you still haven't told me who you are. Ooh. Grandpa! Grandpa? Amnesia? Oh, that's not even a normal human, normal human name, normal human name either, right? Is that a code name? Hold on a second. Huh? Three. And it has the word pear on it. They also updated it so that it's more black and emo looking. I don't know if I like that or not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Where'd they come from? Well, doesn't seem like it's a watch, does it? Hmm. Hmm. Ah. I was trying to pull it off. Trying to get it off. What about these buttons on the sides? Wow, we noticed these so fast! You need to do it in that order, the same order as before. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Nothing. Damn it! What the hell is going on here? Somebody better start explaining, or... Oi, Miro. What? Wait, what? Uh... Is that like... I don't know... A Chinese New Year mascot? It looks like, I don't know, the year of the rabbit mascot or something. <laughs> Zero the third. Hmm. Okay. What what the hell is that? Uh no, pretty sure it's a rabbit. 
聞きたいことはたくさんあると思うだけどまあこんな形で長話をするのもなんだし Well right off the bat this zero has It seems like they're gonna come up quite a few more times, just judging by how they're talking to us so much already. Oh, wonderful. A game? I don't know what I was expecting here. Oh! Hey, hold on. Who the hell? They managed to fix the thing with、um, the subtitles, which is nice. Oh, uh, that's cool. Fall? <laughs> Is it Halloween already? <laughs> yeah, yeah, see you next fall. That joke wasn't any funnier in elementary school. That was actually a joke? I didn't get it. <laughs> a joke has to be funny, okay? That wasn't even. Oh my god. Don't tell me you're impressed. Oh, for the love of. <laughs> Maybe she's not the most socially aware girl here. Damn it. Damn it! God damn it! This is bullshit! That stupid rabbit didn't tell us anything! How are we even supposed to get out of here? Oh well, I guess whining about it isn't gonna help anybody. We won't be able to get any answers if we can't get out of here. You with me? Come on, just nod or something. Are you. We are in a puzzle already. We just started. This game consists of two sections the escape portion and the novel portion. The goal of the escape portion is to escape from whatever room you're in, hence the name. First, click on anything on the screen that catches your attention. You can change the camera angle by dragging the cursor across the screen. That sounds lovely. Is that like my item thing? Yeah, okay. So it is interesting to note that. The little rabbit said, Welcome to the Nonary game, Ambidex Edition. And the,、um, the bracelet says pair on it, and we're stuck in a room with someone else. So、uh, maybe we have to work together this time. When you see the word zoom in cyan in the top right corner of your screen, the game is in zoom mode. To return to your normal view from zoom mode, press escape, drag downward, or click on the cyan triangle. What the hell is this stupid thing? It's huge. Is it an ATM? Hmm, I don't think so. I see. Then, do you think the safe down there is, is stuffed with cash? That would be nice. No, I wouldn't! We have bigger problems than money right now! Like, I don't know, getting the hell out of here? Well, you don't have to yell about it. Well, we're, ge we're getting off on a great start already. We don't get along with the person we're stuck with. There's a strange, mysterious device on the far side of the elevator. Maybe some device to. It looks kind of like something construction related. I don't know.、Uh, it doesn't seem like I can click on specific parts of this thing. The bottom of the device. It looks heavy. It also appears to be bolted to the floor. I doubt I'll be moving it. Oh, it doesn't really show what I click on now. So I gotta be really careful about this. Fire extinguisher? How to use it? Wait, what? 
There's a key. You can get a key from the fire extinguisher? Hang on, that's not normal. These look like instructions for using a fire extinguisher. Yeah, but what it actually says seems weird. Yeah. It- that- that's not right. Does that mean there's a key in here? It looks like- oh, well... I can't tell if that's a key, or the thing that activates the fire extinguisher. This looks like a case for a fire extinguisher. Let me see if I can open it. Damn. No good. Is it locked? Looks that way, yeah. Come. Okay. Well. Well, well, well. Um, I suppose there must be something- Oh, whoa, okay. Ah! I can't tell if this is an, imp an improvement or not, but now we can, like, drag partially so that we can see half of the new room and stuff like that. Which is... I don't know, I don't know how to feel about that. Hey, there's a- Why is this here? Fire extinguisher pin. That looks like a key. That's a fire extinguisher pin. You'll find two types of items in the game. Pins in item form, and items you can use in some way. In order to use an item, click whatever you want to use it on while holding the item. Whatever item is on the front of the item screen is the item you're currently holding. A picture of it will also appear in the icon when you're holding it. Okay. Yeah, now it's over here. That's my hand. It's kind of a weird hand, but okay. Uh, we can inspect items, combine them, or hold them. Okay. I wonder if we could bash this door down with a fire extinguisher. I think I'll let you try that. It's probably full of explosives. The only thing that's going to get extinguished is you. Hey, come on now. That's scary. <laughs> we... Mm, Sigma. I saw a picture of him earlier when we were looking at that trailer, but I don't really know what kind of voice he has. And is he ever going to get a voice? That's the bigger problem here. What do you think this means? Hell if I know. It's just a bunch of pictures of babies and old people. Why don't you see if you can get it off the wall? File. Mm-hmm. Go to the archive button in the menu and then go to file. The more you know! What the hell is this? The useful menu bar! Okay, I don't think I need this. <laughs> what the hell is this? Clicking this button will take you to your notes, flow charts, save, history. Did he really just say that? Find out with the history button! Use it to rewind dialogue so that you can check before you wreck! I can tell the, the localization team had fun with the, the instructions here. <laughs> Alright, escape and novels. Yeah, I don't think we need to look at this, but um, what did we just pick up? Difficulty! Right, one thing about this game is that there is a easy and hard difficulty. Uh, it didn't actually let me choose anywhere, so I don't know... I don't know what it is on right now. Hmm. File. There we go. Pass. Secret. Help. Yeah. We'll talk about the difficulty when we come to it, I guess. I don't, I don't actually know what we're doing right now. Gave us a hint right here. <laughs> Try counting the number of babies and old people. This is explicit. Oh my god. Life would be infinitely happier if we could only be born at the age of 80 and gradually approach 18. <laughs> well, uh, uh, yeah, okay, sure. Okay, okay. Babies? Well, there's some not old people and not baby people. Like, I don't know how to count this. And I don't know why I'm counting it, so I'm just gonna ignore this for now, maybe. You know, that's a strange poster. Ooh, maybe it has something to do with this here. An elevator control panel. There is one a lot like it on the opposite side of the room. With a different symbol, I'm guessing. Huh? Why'd it light up? She clicked on it. <laughs> it didn't do anything earlier. Maybe that was because the game hadn't started yet. So you think this button does something? I don't know. Let's take another look at it. Nah, we need the numbers, so let's forget about that for now. Look at the other side. Babies. Do the colors matter? The colors of the thing? 
They're all different. Green, yellow, red, blue. Okay, well, there's... Ooh, yeah, 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 look at that. The colors, I think they matter. I think they do. Let's take this one at a time, though. Let's count some babies. We're talking infants here, right? So this is not a baby. That's not a baby. One, two, three, four. And for the old people, one. Is that an old person? Yeah, I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. S seven. Okay. Four babies, eight old people. Seven. Seven. Jesus. Four babies. Okay. Hurry up, hurry up. Eight. A seven. Anything happen? No? Well... Alright. So why are these colored like this? Oh. Hey, this end is loose. Can you take it off? Let's see. Alright, looks like we're unscrewing some stuff here. Probably the handle for some kind of tool. The grip is yellow. Oh, the... Maybe I didn't count right, because it's not doing anything. Hmm. Probably the handle for some kind of tool. The grip is green. Maybe I need to... Yeah, let me just try to get these ones off, and then unscrew that thing over there. Ah! Is there a faster way for me to... No, that's not it. I want to be able to move across the screens faster, not just by dragging. I wonder if I can just force it open. And the answer is no. Damn it, no good. Stupid thing won't even budge. Trying to force it is pointless. We need to find another way out. Hmm. Blue? Blue. The handle you've got there is the same color as that... bolt. Yeah. Well, okay, that's good. But what are you planning to do with it? Take the bolt off, of course. With just the handle? Are you sure about this? Oh, wait, does it not match? Hmm... Are we supposed to stick something on here? Maybe that's the problem. Okay, fine. Not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Oh! Wait, do these buttons work? This is some kind of mouse icon. It's a rabbit! How many times do I have to tell you? You think there might be some kind of connection with that Zero the Third guy that we just saw? During an escape, you're given the opportunity to switch difficulty levels. If you get stuck, you can switch the difficulty to easy by opening the menu and clicking on the difficulty button. In easy mode, other characters will give you more hints. However, once you've switched the difficulty to easy, you can't switch it back to hard unless you've finished that escape. When you start over in a particular escape or enter it for the first time, the difficulty level is automatically set to hard. Okay, so I've read something about this before. Apparently, if you solve... Ah, there it is. If you solve an escape on hard, it gives you something called the gold files, which gives you information. But if you go on easy, the characters talk a lot more with hints for the puzzles. Um, I don't really know what to do, but people seem to recommend that I do hard. So I'll be doing this unless if I can't solve it, in which case I'll just switch it to easy. And um, yeah. I think after we... After we solve that puzzle in easy, we can just go back to the same level and try to do it in hard again. So maybe it's not as big as a problem as I, I'm making it out to be. Are there people with weird eyes in this poster? Because I'm looking at the rabbit, the rabbit elevator buttons. I don't know. One, two, three, four. There's definitely four babies. Old people. I'm defining old people as people with white hair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is kind of like a middle-aged person. So is this one. So I don't feel like they're... You know... Hmm. 
Well, that's a wonderful start. I don't think we're getting anywhere already. <laughs> Can we use the pin on this? How do I switch items? There we go. All right. Let's see if this pin can open the lock. Hmm. Looks like it worked. Excellent. Okay, time to see what's inside. Ooh! What's this? Polyurethane packaging? <laughs> there are a few pieces of metal in here. Four of them. They look like sockets for socket wrenches. Each one has a different shape though. Yeah. Well, we might as well take them. Hell yeah, we got them. Uh... Do I need to look up what color they correspond with? Is that the problem? Oh god. Okay, let me go check it then. Wasn't there another button to like switch the room view? It's like this dragging thing is kind of annoying. Ah, okay. Q and E. It's not really any less annoying, but whatever. <laughs> So, the yellow one needs a triangle, and I open- how do I open the- like that? Triangle? Triangle. There you are. Combine it with the... the yellow one. Okay, and then we got the square one for the blue. Blue? Oh, I can't see it. I need to select the other one first. Oh, it's actually just the one right next to it. Here we go. And the uh, five, five, pentagon. Pentagon for this one. Okay, so this one should be red. Oh my god. Okay. Fine. Cool. Now we have... Voila. Alright. That's the green bolts off. Yeah, good job. You're a regular mechanic. <laughs> Is that a- I hope that wasn't an insult. Oh! Wrong part. Alright, let's just give this yellow one a twist. Hell yeah. Hmm. Looks like you got it off. Sure did. Excellent. That's the red bolt gone. Right, so I've got all the bolts off now. Ready? I'm gonna open it. What are you asking me for? Okay, okay, jeez. Is that food? <laughs> oh, what the hell is this? There are a number of mini games you will play during an escape. <laughs> Controls and rules will generally be given to you before a mini game begins. But some start without giving you detailed instructions. <laughs> On purpose? Okay. If you keep trying though, the other characters might start to give you hints. They'll only do this when you're playing in easy mode though. Okay. So remember, if you get stuck on a minigame, give it several tries before you switch to easy. What's this? It looks like some kind of maze. Do you think we're supposed to solve this? Probably. Alright. I'm on it. I need to move the green block from the top left to the blue square on the bottom right. You can move the green and red blocks up and down as well as sideways by clicking and dragging the mouse or using the arrow keys. Ah, they all move at once. I see. Okay, so my first order of operations is to fill up this hole here. And then after that... Um... Be like that? No, that wasn't a good idea. But this isn't gonna work either. Okay. Well. What do I actually need to do here? Do I need to. S oh, there you go. Complete. Completed. Sweet. I did it. I'm sure it's only this easy because I'm beginning now. You're pretty good. Thanks! Hmm. This is kid stuff. I could do it with my eyes closed. <laughs> oh, look at this. 
Hmm? Something came out of the box. Oh, yeah. Is this a memory card? Memory card? A green memory card, huh? Yeah. I got it from the maze. Well, we don't have like a camera or anything here. Where do we even... Oh, is that a... No, that's where it came out of, right? The maze are just solved. We don't need it anymore. There's a key thing here. There's a little panel here with a keyhole. The opening in the center is covered with transparent plastic. Do I still have the other key? I have nothing on me. All the screws and stuff are gone. Some kind of display. There's nothing on it right now. Hmm. That probably means I need to go back to figuring out this elevator thing. Or... I never looked at this safe. A square metal box. Looks like it's a safe. Yeah. I wonder what's inside. Something someone wants to keep safe. What else would you put in a safe? Oh, thanks, thanks. Well, what do you think it could be? A cracker. What the hell's so important about a cracker? Okay. How about a tide deposit box? Uh, what? What does that even mean? Let's just try and open it. How? Well, there's some kind of pad on the front with a 3x3 three three grid, right? I'm guessing that's how you open it. Right. Let's give that a shot then. Each escape room has a safe somewhere. Okay. These safes have two passwords. One for escaping and one for a hidden file. When you open the safe using the escape password, you'll get a key that will allow you to leave the room you're in. If you open the safe with a hidden file password in hard mode, hard mode you'll get a golden file. If you do the same in easy mode, you'll get a silver file instead. The gold and silver files contain supplementary facts and background information that will give the novel sections added depth, but are not necessary for escaping. So some have said that um, the gold files actually contain spoilers for things that haven't happened yet, so I shouldn't look at them until I end the game completely. In order to escape and continue the game, you must open the safe with the escape password. Well, am I supposed to know this, or... Do I have to work my magic square magic again? Okay, there's three symbols, but we don't- we have no indication of where anything is. So I don't really think this is a good idea for us to be doing this. Does it anyway? Well, okay, uh, yeah, that's not helping. Oh, that's sweet! Oh, we can make- we can make notes on this directly! Cool. Cool. That's actually really cool. Damn. No luck. Well, of course not. You're not going to get far just guessing. We need to find a clue. We need to do something with the elevator buttons here. It's a baby. Hey, have you seen a baby in here? Goo goo. Sorry, another baby. <laughs> Stop screwing around and think. Don't you remember seeing some babies? Hmm. <laughs> they're kind of not getting along, but then they're joking with each other too, so it's kind of strange. Do I do anything with this? Oh, hang on. Do I put the memory card in here? Maybe that's a thing. But we still need three, so... Got a green memory card in my hand. Let's see what happens when I put it in. Hey, it turned on! Looks like this thing is working now. The screen is glowing with a strange light, but that's it. We can't do anything? Yeah, we're just not doing anything, because we need the other two as well. What the heck am I doing wrong here? Eight elders? Six? I'm expecting something to happen automatically, but is that the case? Or do I need to fill this one in as well? Um, okay. There's a rabbit. I don't really know. Zero, the third icon. Mm. Oh! Wait. 
Does it have to do with how some people are bucktooth? I don't know, because rabbits, right? Well, this person has a tooth. One, two, three. Oh, I feel like I'm stretching this quite a bit here. Oh my god, okay. Hey, Sigma. Did you just hear a noise? What noise? Um, I think it was over there somewhere. <laughs> I'll take it, I'm taking it. That's a memory card. It came out of the control panel, remember? Yeah. It's red. I feel like... I feel like you could probably solve this one accidentally just by pressing random things. But you know what? I did it. I think I did it the right way. I don't know. This one doesn't seem to have a slot for... the thing though, and I don't... I'm pretty sure there's four babies and... Do we not count the rabbits? Or am I only counting the people with the canes? Because there's some old people sleeping, so maybe that doesn't count. One, two, three. This one is a tricky one because that's not a cane. Three? And the babies. What if the baby is naked? Does that count? Oh my god, so many questions. So many questions. One, two, three. And this, this person is kind of old, but they have no cane. This person, that's not a cane. Three? Huh? That's weird. I pushed the button, but nothing happened. You think maybe that means we don't need to fiddle with these buttons anymore? Oh. Maybe my reward was because I got all of the buttons right. Not just the, this one. Okay. Sure, sure. So many questions. Let's see what happens when I put the red memory card in the machine. Okay. Oh! <gasps> What the heck is this? Sun Sun Star. Maybe it's some kind of password. A password? You got a notepad or something? Huh? Uh, no, not really. Then you'll just have to remember this. You think you can handle that? <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm always remembering shit. You have found a hidden file password. Cool. Cool. So it's in safe password this is the password for the safe no hidden file this is the password for escaping i'm guessing but we don't have it right now okay well let's get our hidden file then i don't know why you're showing this to me so many times crap i forgot it <laughs> no not this there's a lot of clicking around here sun sun star Oh. Ooh. Ha! That's it! He did it! Good job! Heh. <laughs> Piece of cake. Got a gold file. To see what's inside, which we will not see right now. The gold file contains supplementary facts and background information that will give the novel sections added depth. <laughs> They've given me the, the prompt so many times now. Yeah. I need to find the escape password though. That's not enough. Wait, we, we already opened the safe though and there was nothing else inside. How is it gonna freaking give me a password? Oh. Well... Uh, um, I feel like we've done everything in here already. What am I missing? Oh, this thing. Oh, but that's um... That's probably the spot where I need to put the key that I find, which I don't have right now. Uh... Okay? I mean, we're slowly getting to places, but like, what am I... I feel like I've clicked on everything here already. Fire extinguisher... Unless the fire breaks out in here, I don't think I need it. Okay. We don't need to fiddle with this anymore. We're probably done with this panel then. What about the control panel next to the door? Oh, this one I can change. <laughs> there it is again! It's right here! Why though? Because this guy's name's Zero the Third. Zero and three? Is that why? 
Well, okay, so my accounting buck two thing might have been wrong after all. <laughs> that makes me sad. Well, whatever, I guess. Sure. Got a blue memory card. Stick it in. Moon, moon, moon. Huh? This isn't what it showed us last time. Hmm. A different password. Escape password. Moon... Oh, forget it so quickly. Moon, moon, moon in a triangle. Okay! Ah! Moon, moon, moon. There we go. It's the same safe, but there's new stuff in here this time. Th that kind of scares me. Huh? That's odd. It opened with this password, too. Hmm. Maybe it has two types of passwords. Look. It has different stuff inside it now. Yeah, you're right. It's got a false back. See? It can just flip around. Oh, okay. Oh, that's why there's a half circle here. Kind of like those hidden passages in mansions and stuff. So if you put in a different password, you get different stuff. I think so. Right, well, that's enough of that. Grab the stuff. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Is this... a key? Hmm. Hey, it is a key! We found it! Awesome! Now hurry up and use it! Okay, don't need to tell me twice. Okay, right over here. You ready? I'm gonna put the key in. You don't need to ask me every time you're gonna do something. Just hurry it up. Right, right, I know. Here goes. Stop talking and do it! <laughs> That's kind of how I feel like sometimes, too. Yeah! It unlocked! Hmm. So now we just have to use this panel. Open this panel. Big red dangerous looking button. Let's press it. Once you leave the elevator, the novel section of the game will begin. For more information on the controls for the novel section, have a look at the help section in the archive. Okay. Are you ready? Just do it! Alright, alright. Message received. Here we go. Three, two, one. And push! Oh my god, so dramatic for pressing a button. I thought we were... I thought we were getting out the, you know, the door. <laughs> oh. It opened a hatch in the ceiling? What? Why does an elevator have a ceiling hatch? Hmm. Maybe it's not an elevator. Where are we? A building? Alright, it's open. Now let's get the hell out of here. What? What's wrong? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Guess it's a little high for you, huh? I'd say that's at least six feet, maybe more. Alright then. Climb up on my shoulders. Yeah, that's right. Why? Something wrong? You're not wearing a skirt, right? What? What's that look supposed to mean? What do you think I'm gonna do? Oh, come on! I'm just trying to be rational here. No ulterior motive, hand to God. Not like I'm hoping to get my face sandwiched between a girl's bare thighs or... <laughs> I, I was just kidding. Right. Look, I'm just trying to get us out of here. You got any brilliant ideas that don't involve your thighs? <laughs> what? Stick 
Oh, okay. There. Ready. Bring it on. What? Wait, what are you gonna do? She's standing on me. Ah! Oh my god. She can fly? How in the hell? What? Oh, uh... What the heck are you? Well, she's very acrobatic, although I'm not sure if what she did just now was human at all. Ramen? <laughs> Phi. Phi and Sigma. Both letters of the Greek alphabet. I kind of wish they kept the 2D aesthetic. Because uh, the 3D. It's not really anything insane to brag home about, so I would rather have higher quality 2D art. 